We're taking a closer look at why a summertime staple may be harder to find this year. Farmers across Georgia say the weather earlier this year is impacting the season's crops. WSCV's Tyler Carmona looks into the slim pickings. Right in the middle of peach season, farmers and produce vendors are in a tough spot. Nothing like this has happened since 2017 when the state lost 80% of its peach crops. The season got started really late this year. I mean, it seemed like everything just came was like a month behind. Our farmers, our local farmers are just starting to bring in their local produce, which should have been probably in a month ago. Georgia typically produces more than 130 million pounds of peaches per year. They only produce a quarter of that this year. According to the University of Georgia, the crop is valued at $85 million. But after unusually warm weather and a late season freeze, the majority of peach crops were damaged. This left vendors scrambling for alternatives. One local produce stand has decided to source their peaches from South Carolina. We've been selling South Carolina peaches, so um, Georgia's crop has gotten affected really hard. The frost that we got this year affected it very much. Davis says a significant portion of Georgia's peaches are canned and shipped internationally rather than being served fresh. Although Georgia is known as a peach state, it actually ranks third in production behind California and South Carolina. They've always had better quality of peaches. I mean, they're giant and they're usually juicy, beautiful. And uh, Georgia, you know, they're usually a little bit smaller. In order for peaches to properly develop, there must be a balance of warm and cold weather throughout the spring. Temperatures throughout the state were six degrees warmer than usual this year. The Atlanta Journal reports that the Georgia farmers will be losing around $60 million due to this shortage of peaches. The season will be shorter, it looks like. We won't have them as long as we would hope to have them later in the fall. Although this year's erratic weather took a toll on businesses throughout the state, they hope things return back to normal next year. Tyler Carmona, WSAV News 3, on your side.